Aloha dudes and dudettes from Sunset Beach. Great waves today. It was just beautiful. It wasn't sunny, but the waves were great. Let's do our paddle out. Today the waves were breaking about 1800 feet out from the beach. Good size and it kept building all morning. I got so many video clips that I'm making two-parter. I'll do the second part tomorrow because it <clears throat> takes a lot of hours to edit these videos. Here we go. Guy's okay, jamming. Couldn't quite drop in, but check it out outside. Nice wave. This guy gets a lot of good rides. <clears throat> if you're able to watch this on your large screen TV, it's uh, worth the while because you just enjoy them a lot more. This is a short border, got some good rides. Most of the boards out there were uh, the long guns, uh, which are narrower, sharper point, longer, just built for speed. But then you got some short borders that get some good rides too. I think that's Matt. He gets a really good ride. If you watched the video I did a week ago, Tuesday the 18th, this is the same guy. That was at Holly Eva. I said, uh, I call him the honey bear. Don't care. Remember when he got hit by all that white water and kept on going? Nice guy. Same color board, but I don't think it was matte. Ricardo, I'm so sorry. That was him on the last wave, I believe. I was gonna record him and then I <clears throat> saw a set coming and you know how it is, you always go for the set and here's it, here it is. But uh, I'll be out there tomorrow morning at zero dark 30. And if you guys are out there, I'm gonna be videoing. Ricardo, he uh, came up afterwards Nice guy. Lives really close to Sunset Beach and uh, 
He asked me if I like coconuts, and I said, sure. You know, I thought he's going to pull out a Mounds candy bar. He pulls out a real coconut. <laughs> Very cool. First one I've ever had. I liked it. This guy's jamming. Okay, now watch this. On some of these waves, I was actually um, running parallel to the beach uh, with some of these guys, not maybe that particular wave. But I was watching the speed on the what I was doing on the drone at 26 miles an hour. That's how fast these guys are going when it lines up just right. Look at that wave, isn't it beautiful? Gets a piece of the action. By the way, you guys, I gave you um, my card too, so you can watch these on YouTube. Share it with your friends so that they can uh, see the videos of themselves cranking it. Isn't that beautiful? Here's the same guy with this, the X on the board. You know, it's so easy to spot boards that have a specific uh, design other than just plain white or something that blends in. The red boards, the green boards. Here we go. Oh yeah. Cleanup set time. Oh. It's really fun because when I'm flying out there, I'm at about 50 feet and then I stay back from the crew and then I drop in when the wave comes back and see the set coming in advance. Nice ride. Look at this. He got ahead of me. I had to catch up. Long rides. Look at that. Beautiful. This guy was parked uh, close to me and he was out there. And I really think his board is beautiful. Matter of fact, I had one with the same colors, not the same pattern. And I thought it would be great in the water. The problem is it didn't show up very good for pictures or movies. Again, another. this guy goes really good. See it a little building up there. Red board, easy to spot. The guy in the blue board, now that was good protocol. He pulled out, gave this guy the right of way. So I gotta catch him. This guy, good and fast. Another beautiful wave. Here's the X-Man. This is the first time I've ever seen Sunset Beach break this good, this big. That was uh, mad again. I wanted to show you something. I took this, this is just 10 seconds. Look how clear and sharp that, I took that yesterday morning. You'll notice that my videos are not that sharp because what happened was I'm assuming that I got moisture between the filter and the, the actual lens of the camera. And uh, I did a really good cleaning the, as soon as I got home because I, I don't like it when they're fogged up like that. Should be razor sharp. Dude, crank it. A lot of nice people there this morning. A lot of aloha, actually.
Okay, that's it for part one. This is the uh, flying in, which I normally do. It's just, uh, I put my plane on autopilot and it's called return home and you just hit the button and uh, the guys are watching how that works. It's just incredible. Uh, the intelligence that they've developed into these things, it's all GPS oriented. I got a little clip right at the very end before I sign out off uh, and it shows you my Jeep that I've got, I've rented and it shows you all my equipment and I had to come in when it was raining and I sit under in the back of the, uh, by the tailgate with the lid up so that it acts like an umbrella to keep the rain off. Just thought uh, I'd show the guys that I normally surf with and video with. That's it for part one. I'll be out there tomorrow videoing early in the morning and that means we're at the end of the video which I just want to say aloha and stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'll catch you on the flipper. Five by five in the pipe over and dude out.